Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Finley Academy. Now in this episode, I thought of discussing about AWS Key Management Service. Now AWS Key Management Service, uh, it allows you to create keys that you can use to encrypt and decrypt data in your AWS services. For example, say that you have a DynamoDB table and uh, that table stores some uh, data, maybe like some sensitive data that you want to encrypt. So you can use AWS KMS to encrypt that data. Now in this episode, I want to particularly focus about custom KMS keys. Because if you are using custom KMS keys, you can provide granular access to different IAM roles or IAM users to encrypt and decrypt data. For example, let's say that you have that DynamoDB table with some sensitive data. So there you use custom KMS key to encrypt that data. So what you can do then is that you can associate some IAM role and IAM users to your custom KMS key policy. So when you do that, only those users can encrypt and decrypt. Now, generally when we are developing uh, or when you are creating a DynamoDB table, we use the default encryption that is supported by AWS DynamoDB service. That's good, but uh, anybody that has AWS DynamoDB access permission, they are able to view your data. They can encrypt and decrypt the data. But if you're using custom KMS key, even though someone, let's say an IAM role or IAM user has full access to DynamoDB, they are still unable to view that data unless they have that user or the IAM role whitelisted in that KMS key policy. So that's what I want to demonstrate in this video. I hope this will be useful to you guys. Let's get started. All right, guys. So right now I'm in AWS console. I will go to KMS. I can search for KMS here. Key management service. So you can see there are AWS managed keys, customer managed keys, and you can import external keys as well. Or you can also use HSM devices or cloud HSM. So in this case, we are going to create a customer managed key. So I'll go ahead and click create key. And then I'm going to create a symmetric key. Usage is to encrypt and decrypt data. I'm going to use KMS, so that's the recommended one. And I can also make this key available in multiple regions. We want like high availability, you can select multiple regions, but in this the custom KMS key that I'm going to create is in a single region. I'll go ahead and click next. Then I can give a name, demo KMS key. I'll go ahead and click next. So next in the wizard is to choose the key administrators. Now here, these are the administrators who can manage the custom key that I'm creating right now. For example, I'll select this user Manoj as the key administrator. So when this user logs in, he can add or edit the key policy. So essentially, he can choose what other IAM roles and users can use these keys to uh, encrypt and decrypt data. So I'll select Manoj. And if you scroll down, there's this key deletion as well. Allow key administrators, ad administrators to delete this key. So if you're an administrator, you are able to delete this key as well. You can uncheck if you want. Otherwise, you can leave it checked. I'll click Next. And this is the important part, which is about defining key usage permission. Who can use this key? Now here I'm going to use this particular user. So this is an IAM user and also another IAM role that is uh, my DynamoDB role. It's an IAM role that I have created that can be assumed by an AWS Lambda function as the key users. So there are two key users, this IAM role and also this IAM user. So these are the only two people can use this key. Go ahead and click next. So this is the key policy. As you can see, this includes the administration permission part. So this is that key administrator section. So this is the user assigned as the administrator. 
and these are all the actions that you can do including revoke including delete and uh, put or change this custom KMS key details and here the second section which is the uh, users key users and I have associated two key users which is that user itself Manoj and the IAM role so this is an IAM role what can they do they can encrypt decrypt re-encrypt generate data keys and describe keys now here if you look at carefully the key users are unable to delete or revoke the key that's only available for the administrators so i'll go ahead and click next and verify everything and click finish now by the way if you're creating a custom kms key just like the one that we create you will be charged one dollar per month so that's an so that's an additional charge you have to keep in mind but the advantage of using custom KMS key is that you can provide granular permission for your users and IAM roles to encrypt and decrypt data. All right, so let's go ahead and use this key. So I'll go into DynamoDB and create DynamoDB table. Tables, create table, demo KMS table. Partition key maybe ID is a string. Now let's scroll down. You can find this table settings. So here let's select custom settings or customize settings rather. And you can select the table class, read write capacity, so on and so forth. If you scroll down, you will see this encryption at rest section. So by default, you will have this owned by DynamoDB. So the encryption is managed by DynamoDB itself. Now here we are going to choose custom KMS keys instead of uh, DynamoDB manage, uh, managing our encryption keys. So I'll click this one, the third option, stored in your account, owned by, managed by you. So here you can see, choose your custom KMS key. You select here, you see the key that we just created, demo KMS key, and I'll select that one. That should be it, and I'll go ahead and create the table. Alright, so the table is created. Let me go ahead and uh, click into it. Let's add an item. So I'll click explore item and then create item. I'll add the ID as one and also I add another attribute called name. Let's say Manoj Fernando. Create item. Here we go. So I have the record. Hey, hope you enjoyed the tutorial so far. I want to quickly tell you about Enlia, the technical content marketing company. We know how busy the developers are, right? So the last thing on their mind is to write in blog posts. That's where we come in. We create high quality developer focused content to keep your audience engaged and drive conversions. Curious how we can help? Schedule a call with us and let's boost your content strategy together. Now back to our tutorial. So next, I'm going to create two Lambda functions. Both are trying to access this uh, DynamoDB table. One of the Lambda function has the IAM role that I have whitelisted or allowed in the custom KMS key policy. The other one has another IAM role which has DynamoDB full access. So let's check which Lambda function is able to access the DynamoDB data. I'll go ahead and click AWS Lambda or open AWS Lambda console. I'll click create function. First function name is demo KMS Lambda 1. And if you scroll down just a little bit, so this is creating a new IAM role. The default behavior in AWS Lambda is creating a new IAM role and associated with this AWS Lambda. So let's use that. So this is not the IAM role that we whitelisted in the KMS key. So let's uh, provide AWS DynamoDB full access to this Lambda and see if this works or if this Lambda can access the data. I'll go ahead and click create function. So my Lambda function is created and I will go and update this index.js file. So I have a 
port prepared to access the uh, DynamoDB table. If I show it in full screen, you can see I get the DynamoDB client and I'm using the scan command. So essentially, my table name is not the secret table. So let me change the name to demo KMS table. And then I do DynamoDB scan. So I'm sending this scan command. Let's see if this succeed. We click deploy. The function is deployed and I will go to configuration and I'll go to permission. And this is that Lambda role it created automatically. Let me add DynamoDB full access to this one. Add permission, attach policy, DynamoDB full access. Scroll down, add permission. The policy is attached. There we go. We have DynamoDB full access to this IAM role. And now let's test this. I will click test. There you go. I got this error. Could not scan the table. Oh, what happened? Let's check the logs. There we go. KMS key access denied error. So this particular role, the one that Lambda create, is not authorized to perform KMS decrypt. Okay. Now let's create another Lambda function. We'll open AWS Lambda again. Create function. Demo KMS Lambda 2. And this time, I'm going to change the default execution role to use an existing one. And I will select my DynamoDB table role. So this is the one we allow the usage of that particular customer KMS key. Create function. I'll copy the code from the other function as well. Come here. Copy. And then I'll paste it here and then I'll deploy. It's deployed. If you want to see the configuration, go to the permission. So this is that DynamoDB role I created previously. So this particular DynamoDB role, which I have created uh, before recording this video, has already uh, DynamoDB full access. And also, we have allowed this role to decrypt and encrypt data for this particular customer key as well. So now let's try to test this. So I'll go ahead and click test. There you go. I can see the item that I created. And if I scroll down for the log section, all good. So I have the status code 200 and this is the item that I have received. Now, as you can see, custom KMS keys can be really useful if you want to uh, manage your permission to encrypt, decrypt in a more granular way. But bear in mind, for each custom key that you create, cost you $1 per month. All right, so this is what I want to show you guys. I hope this is useful. I'll see you in another video. Thanks.